What's up everyone, good morning. Today is a big day for me, or this vlog is a big day for me, because if you're watching this, the app that I've been working on for months, it was meant to be live in January, the app that I've been working on with months, game plan. If you're watching this, it's just went live or it's going live on Monday. So again, I'm gonna link everything in the description box. If it's not live by the time you're watching this, you can sign up to be on the email list to be the first to know. Again, I appreciate it so much. I'm super nervous. I'll talk about it more during the vlog, but today we're just gonna be doing some eating and training. It's the life of Rob. It's, you know, current projects I'm working on. What I'm eating, how I'm training. That's the channel. We are doing kind of a little fry up this morning. We got some turkey sausages. We got really lean bacon. We got some mushrooms. I might also dig out some peppers. Clara's de huevos, you know how we do it. And then I'm gonna just snack on a little bit of pineapple as I'm getting this ready. So I'm gonna put it all in the pan, grill a few of these, and we're gonna have a beautiful morning. Let's go. <laughs> So, gym all done. We're going for a little walk now. And look at this, actually. I'm yet to find John Olsen in Marbella. There is the place, Akko, that him and Ricard own. It's another YouTuber that I've been following for so long, in case you guys don't know. But yeah, you have to see him roaming around the streets. But well, we're gonna walk down to the port now for a little bit. We're gonna get an iced coffee. We're gonna chill out and then might do a little grocery shop, because all the grocery shops are closed here on Sunday, so we don't want to starve to death. So, we're gonna pop down now. Oh, that's also, also another good spot as well, the Sava. We're gonna pop down now, Linda, that is the wrong way. You're gonna have to jump over the highway then. <laughs> we're gonna walk down now, get a little coffee, and then chill out for the day. I'm still kind of nervous about tomorrow, to be honest. Like, I'm like, oh, what if the app crashes? You know, uh, what if it glitches out, something goes wrong? But I found the best way with business and projects is to just jump out of the plane and figure out how to work the parachute on the way down. So that's exactly what we're doing. Work the parachute, bro. Linda loves just imitating me and impersonating me all day, every day. Right. We're gonna walk down now and caffeinate ourselves. The midday snack to hold us over is we got the ice americano here. We got a little protein bar and the caffeine, the water, and that's like half a liter of water there. The protein, the fiber, this is good for holding me over on a cut. And with my cut, I'm like, I got into my like best shape recently around like 
maybe like end of February, so now it's coming to the end of March. March kind of like chilled it a little bit, and now I'm ready to dial it in for summer again. So recently, the last few weeks, we're kind of like a little diet break while I got the app ready and just kind of concentrated on work, because there's times where I concentrate on work and projects, and there's times where I just focus completely on the gym. Now we're going back to gym mode again. Look at that. I need this now, then I'll see you guys later. We made a little stopover in Supersol, and I think we're the only ones in the entire place. So we're just getting a few little bits for the weekend. We got some roast chickens. Gonna cook some dinner and chill out for the evening and kind of get some editing done before the big launch tomorrow. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but we're gonna smash it, I hope. All right, people, so we're back home. This evening, we're gonna chill out. I'm in, I'm in my, my relaxing chair, I'm in my spots. So we're gonna put the camera on. We're just gonna chat to the camera for a little bit. It has been many, many months that I've done a QA. and a Do you know what I had like a random talk recently? I'm like, I would love to do like videos every single day on YouTube where I could just like sit down and talk about a topic. Like you didn't have to like vlog your entire day or like plan a challenge video. I would love to just like, sit down every day, it's something I've been thinking about. But anyways, all right, we're gonna go through a couple of questions here. Um, a few things about the app, the launch, and a few things about life in general, and of course, fitness. So let's get into it, we'll answer a few of these, and then I'm gonna cook dinner and finish up today's video. This is asked a lot, how much will game plan cost? I'm gonna put the prices on the screen here. This is gonna be the best value and highest quality coaching service that I've ever provided. And the goal of this is the same as it always has been with this channel or any of the content that I put out. I wanna get as many people lifting weights, making healthier food choices, get as many people into the gym as possible. That's it. That's my goal, that's like the purpose I'm on, and this app is gonna help me with that. I wanna make a huge brand, something that's bigger than me, hence why I didn't call it the Rob Lipset app, it's just game plan. I still can't believe I have that username. Sounds so cool, and I just wanna build something really big. Get everyone into sick shape. Do you plan to cut this summer? Yeah, I'm gonna do my summer cut like hard over the next month or so, so we're just coming into April now. Um, I got a lot of my friends who are in Dubai, like. Louie and Mike and all coming here in May and Marbella is gonna be, the weather is gonna be amazing from May onwards, like right until September. Even kind of October is good. So this month I'm like really, really focused. I'm in a good place, but the last couple of weeks I've kind of been eating out and chilling a bit. So yeah, it begins now. Of course I'll be following my game plan workouts. I've lost a lot of muscle and gained a lot of fat over lockdown. Advice when gyms open. So in the UK, gyms are open on April 12th. I'm calling it Gym Dependence Day. It's like Independence Day, just with the gym. So that's gonna be a really good day for a lot of people that watch this channel or follow me on Instagram because a lot of you guys are from the UK. Ireland need to get their act together, announce a date when gyms are gonna be reopened. And um, So if you've gained a lot of fat, well then you're gonna to need to go into a calorie deficit to lose that fat. And the muscle will actually come back a lot quicker than you might think. Thank God for muscle memory, which is actually a real thing. So again, just you know, ease yourself back into things, stick to resistance training, and you'll actually notice kind of like new gains as well. But be sure to take it easy, as I actually picked up some injuries after lockdown two or whatever it was, I went into the gym too hard. So yeah, go into a deficit and get back on your weight training routine. What are your summer plans, Rob? So a lot of people ask this. I just saw an article for people in the UK and they're now facing a 5,000 pound fine for people that want to go on holidays. Like it's just absolutely insane. Ireland is still just completely locked down. So, you know, I'm obviously gonna stay here in Marbella. Like I'm having a great time. I love it here. Everything's open, the curfew is gone now as well. So, you know, I'll stay here. It's a 30 minute flight from Ibiza. Might try to get to Greece as well. Maybe like, you know, some other European spots. But I really hope like some friends can join me. But right now it's looking doubtful. So again, I'm just not too sure. And I'm just gonna kind of play it by the week or play it by the month and just try to have um, a good a summer as possible. It's definitely tough to plan. And that's kind of what gets me the most about the last like it seems like two years now, 2020 and 2021, is like you're just not able to make plans, um, especially with like all your other friends who may be in different countries. So it sucks, but every day we just make the best out of it and we just do what we can do. And just keep trying to live life. How's the golf coming along? I'm kind of like 
thinking when is the day that like you get good like how many sessions does it take until you're not like awkward at it went to drive range again I think it was on Tuesday and I'm still just like it just doesn't look right so I'm gonna keep at it though I'm gonna go at least once a week and hopefully we'll go pro by the end of the year. Why are you wearing Air Jordans in the gym? I put a story of me doing leg day in a pair of like Nike Jordans and like so many replies like, no, you're gonna crease them. I'm like, weren't these shoes made for basketball? Comment down below, correct me if I'm wrong. Like anytime I wear like a pair of Nike shoes or nice shoes, I was wearing these in the gym today. They're great by the way. People are like, why are you wearing these in the gym? And I'm like, first of all, I don't go anywhere else. So like, when else am I gonna wear them? Second of all, are these not like, Sports shoes, is Adidas and Nike not made for exercising like? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Set up a Marbella GA team, do you know what? Apparently there already is one. Comment down below if you'd like to see that for next challenge video, me trying some GAA. For people that aren't Irish watching this video, that's our national sport, it's our own very, very own Irish sport. Um, I'm not very good at it at all, but uh, yeah, comment down below if you want to see me train some gas. When are we getting the barbell workout plans? So, again, there seems to be a good demand for them, so I'll drop them on the app in maybe like two weeks or so, um, especially for the Irish people out there, as gyms do not look like they're going to be open in two weeks in Ireland, unfortunately, but I want to like, you know, keep coming out with content and training plans on this app, and there's also a courses section, which I'm really hyped about as well, I want to really utilize that right now like it's covered every single topic you can think of but I want to kind of like I want to like start deep diving into more topics on that like you know really going in on subjects that like I couldn't really just upload a video of that on YouTube and um, that just people like clients would want to see so yeah I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the courses section on the app Rob would you consider starting your own podcast it'd be good to listen to you know what at the end of 2019 I bought all the gear I don't know where it even is now I spent like the guts are grand on it as well. I always planned on doing it and I bought some certain gear that was portable and my plan was like I could travel around like America, you know, all around Europe, all around the UK and interview people because one thing, I just think podcasts are so much better when the two people are in the same room. The Zoom things, personally I'm not into them. I like, you know, sharing the energy with someone that you're interviewing or getting interviewed by. So if I was to do a podcast, I would love to do it like that. Again, travel around, go on a big tour. And like, like for example, you know, I do Texas, I interview and talk to all the YouTubers there. You know, I do California, LA, then UK and everything. Like it would be like a big tour. So it's something I'd love to do when we're not in a pandemic and we can meet people and travel around. Um, so for sure, you know, and that's why like I kind of think of things I think of like my channel Instagram and everything. There's so much left for me to do There's so much avenues that I haven't even explored yet. So yeah, definitely I'm sure I will do it one day I will bet my life savings that one day I will have podcasts and it's gonna be sick If you hit a weight loss plateau, can you add more protein and eat fewer carbs will remaining calories stay the same to break the plateau? Really, if you have reached a plateau, you're not progressing anymore with your fat loss goals, you're gonna to have to increase the deficit in some way, shape, or form. So you're either gonna increase activity, do more cardio, do more training, or decrease your calories. And now, from a scientific perspective, if if your calories stay the same, if your energy output stays the same, then you will your plateau will not move. But now, there's so much other factors that come into play. So for example, if people, end up like increasing the amount of protein in their diet. Typically they end up eating less because they are more satiated, they're more full throughout the day. So this is really interesting and like you know sometimes when people drop carbs, like for example on the, on the keto diet, you know people stick to protein and fat uh, which are very satiating and they think their calories are the same but they're actually consuming less calories without realizing it. So to answer your question, no. You have to increase the deficit in some way, shape, or form. But by upping your protein intake, that might help you to do so if you understand what I'm saying. Tips for someone starting an online coaching business. Again, I've done a full video on this. Um, I think it was a whiteboard video back in London. I wanna do another one. And so there's a few points. Basically, you need to believe in yourself. You need to show that you're an expert in your industry. Know your stuff. You need to be putting out just so much free beneficial content online especially if like online 
that's the audience you want to be, then where do you need to be hanging out, spend time? It needs to be online. So you're going to need to know your stuff, bring out tons of content, hang out where your ideal customer is, and also get in on a niche as well. So if you're trying to be a jack of all trades, like, you know, you're trying like, go into women's fitness or you then try like specialize in competition prep or like teenagers who want to bulk up you're just not going to end up kind of nailing the niche you want so specialize in one niche and you'll see great results from that so again maybe i'll do a full video on that someone asked ireland meetup i think meetups like will they ever even be allowed again like that's one thing i miss so much is expos and meetups it's just, it's just hard to even think of it nowadays. Do you track the sugar you eat on my fitness pal when calorie counting? What's your sugar goal? No, I don't. Total carb intake for the win. We've got studies to show this as well that when it comes to body composition and even like, you know, dietary adherence, that you just really need to focus on total carb intake. Like, for example, if you eat like, a banana or some pineapple which I actually just ate in your diet like do you think that's gonna ruin your diet because that's sugar in it no and fat loss again you're sticking to your macros you're sticking to your planned deficit it is not gonna make a single difference focus on total daily carb intake and um, it's all you need to worry about for the vast vast majority of people best way to track progressive overloading I'm sorry to keep plugging my app but that is a feature that I made sure to include is it can save on your whole 12 weeks each single exercise and what weight you lifted on that day. So again, the game plan app, I'm gonna have to say that. Can I smash running 25K per week and still gain muscle? Absolutely, you just need to eat back those calories, make sure you're in a surplus. If you wanna gain significant amount of muscle, I'm sure you're planning on being in a surplus anyways. So maybe a bit more difficult. And if you're a hard gainer, which is pretty much code for people that don't eat enough, then you just need to make sure that you are eating back those calories. And what I do recommend a lot of people is just like with fat loss, that if you're looking to gain muscle and be in a surplus, that you should track your calories as well to make sure you are eating enough. Because oftentimes, people that are trying to lose fat, they eat too much. People that are trying to gain weight, they don't eat enough. So again, track your calories, make sure you're not falling back into maintenance calories or deficit with all the running you're doing. You've lived both in the US and Europe, what would you say is a better place to live? Now, obviously I've spent so much more time in Europe and you know, I only kind of went to the US just on long-term trips and also student exchange, but I definitely did still technically live there. It's tough to say, you know, and um, right now US seems like a really strange place from an outsider looking in, like there just seems so much riots and very politicized, but then again, you know, technically, it's like the greatest country in the world. So it's a tough one to answer, but right now, European summer, I think is definitely the best. And there's a certain, there's a certain like classiness that comes with Europe, so yeah. I'm gonna say Europe for now, but you know, maybe in a few years, I would love to live in Texas, actually. You know, I used to want to live in California. Now I'd actually think I'd choose Texas over that. When you're on vlog, you climbing La Concha is a real question. So La Concha is a massive mountain that you might see in the background. Some of my pictures are videos and I've been dying to hike it. I don't think Linda's up for it. So I'm gonna to need to find the right people. Joe and Max were talking about coming over uh, for like maybe a few weeks whenever they can. So that'd be cool, a little activity for us. How's the stocks portfolio looking? So there's actually a lot of questions on my crypto profile and my stocks profile. And again, like, I saw Joey D like start his own finance channel. <laughs> That's something that like I'm kind of into, but I'm like, do I talk about that here? Yeah, but basically I put some things up on the screen, some companies that I've invested in. I've been doing it now, uh, crypto as well, investing just for maybe six months to a year now. And again, I'm still just a noob at it. Um, but I've seen some really good results. I mean, kind of like, it, it's made me realize how little your money does just sitting in the bank account. And like, if you just make smart investments, you, you hold out, you don't sell, that it's like, it's just such a much better way to store your money than to just having it sitting in your bank account. So it's something that I'm still learning more about, but I'm really, really interested in. I'm glad I got into it now. I wish I got into it a few years ago or in your life. All right, so it is coming up to sunset. Actually, we're moving out of this place on April 16th. So gonna be new little apartment tour, but right, we're gonna make some dinner now and we'll finish up today's video. All right guys, so finish up today's vlog. 
with some cooking with lead. It is an epic broccoli bake. Okay, so we got just so much chicken breast and we have some low fat cheese on top of that. And let's all be honest, okay? Broccoli on its own, it's not too much fun. But we added some low fat cheese on top of that. We also mix in some fajita seasoning. And this stuff is my new macro friendly hack, okay? This video is sponsored by Philadelphia Light. No, it's not. Wish it was. But basically, the macros on this are insane. For a big, huge tablespoon, I'll put it in two. It's only 50 calories, four fat, one carb, mad, and two proteins. So this is a really satisfying, ultra high protein, low carb meal. Where are the carbs at? We're, we're not doing carbs at this meal. But anyways, all right, guys, I'm gonna finish up things here. Thank you so much for following along this journey for me. Let's build the biggest fitness app in the whole wide world, and let's keep on keeping on. So keep real, I'm out here. I'm gonna eat this now. Peace. See you in the next one.